CBC walk around technical questions, test one. Refer to the accompanying figure, which number or letter refers to the highest gear box ratio? It's a very complicated way of just asking what's the highest gear. Yeah, six is the highest gear. Sometimes the questions are that easy. What happens when air pressure drops below normal in one of the brake reservoirs? Warning light comes on, it's refilled with air from the auxiliary reservoir, braking action becomes excessively pronounced or the braking system will vapor lock. When you lose air. Yeah, you get a buzz on a light. Not that one that was in the picture, but you get a buzz on a light. What system applies resistance via transmission to the vehicle's driven wheels? Endurance braking system, ABS, secondary braking system, or safety lock system. So what system applies resistance via the transmission, i.e. not the overwheel brakes, slows the vehicle down with the transmission? Okay, it's the... It's the endurance braking system, okay? The retarder that uses the transmission. So that's why it holds the vehicle on long descents. It doesn't create heat like the over wheel braking systems so not use not using friction. The turning motion of an engine is referred to as friction, speed, torque, yes. When traveling down a hill, the driver should slowly speed the vehicle by changing to a lower gear. First, use a service brake to slow the vehicle, clutch the vehicle to save fuel, steer to keep up with speed of the vehicle. Yeah, you definitely use a lower gear. You don't just ram it into a lower gear, do you? You slow it down with a service brake. Yeah, your foot brake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then you change into a lower gear. What's the most efficient and safest procedure when descending a long hill? Remain the same gear, change to neutral and coast down the hill, that'd be very dangerous. Change to a lower gear, change to a higher gear. Yep. You choose your gears, you're holding gears. A driver stop breathing on an uphill slope should hold the vehicle on the clutch, use the neutral position on the gear selector, do nothing, apply the handbrake. Yeah, of course, it's apply the handbrake. What's the primary purpose of ABS? Enhance braking function. Yes, it does. It causes the wheels to slow through use of sensors, allows travel on icy roads, prevent wheels from locking. Now, this is true. It does enhance the braking function. That's a general statement. What does it do specifically? ABS. Yes, it's anti lock braking system. Oh, yeah. ABS. What happens to torque and power when the clutch pedal is depressed? So when you accelerate, you lift the clutch and all that torque and power goes out to the wheels, doesn't it? And drives the wheels around and gives you acceleration and power. So when you push that clutch in, where does all that power go? You lift the clutch, all that power goes out to the wheels. When you push the clutch in, where does all that power go? Take a guess. Torque and power transferred back to the engine. Okay, you had the right idea. It's transferred to the transmission. I suppose you had the right idea. It was along the right lines. Frequent use of the service brake. What's the service brake? The hum the Foot, foot brake. Exactly. So frequent use of the service brake during a long downhill descent can lead to what?
drop in reservoir pressure. You've used up all the air because you keep using the foot brake. In what situation are endurance braking systems especially useful? Endurance, retired, the same thing. In the relationship between torque, power, and fuel consumption. Power decreases, goes down. Power decreases, torque decreases, fuel consumption goes up. As power goes down, torque and fuel consumption go up. Torque increases, power increases, fuel consumption goes down. As torque increases, power and fuel consumption increase. Yeah. More power, more fuel. The transmission system converts torque into acceleration, spelled incorrectly, velocity, speed, or power. Transmission system converts torque, torque into power, okay? And then the power will give you speed when it turns the wheels. The vehicle, uh, the technique of double the clutching matches vehicle speed to a higher engine speed, engine speed to a higher gear, vehicle speed to a lower speed, engine speed to a lower gear. Engine speed to a lower gear, but listen, that's not important for these days. Constantly applying the brakes on a long downhill stretch can result in what? If you're constantly using the brake, there's actually a picture of it there. That looks good. Mm -hmm. Brake failure or brake failure. Cause through friction and friction causes heat. Resistance to change in a vehicle's motion is called. Inertia. Endurance braking systems retarders control vehicle speed without using the wheel mounted brakes by controlling the air pressure to the brakes, by using the handbrake with spring brake chambers on the rear axle. What can cause ice to form in the valves and pipes of air brake systems? Yes, it's made out of water, isn't it? So it has to be moisture. During a long descent of a hill, how can poor brake performance due to high heat be avoided? So how can you avoid overheating? Yeah. Use your endurance brake, exactly. What should the driver do in the event of a service brake failure? Hold the brake pedal until the braking returns. Use the secondary brake. Yes, secondary brake also called the emergency brake, isn't it? Oh, it's it does the handbrake, is it? It's the secondary brake, the handbrake, the parking brake, and the emergency brake. And it's also called the secondary brake. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So if your brakes fail, it's not ideal, but you use your emergency brake. But that's going to be such a stop. You don't yank it on because then you send yourself into a spin. You apply it gently. The force that keeps the vehicle moving is called the service brake is operated by a hand control, combination of hand and foot controls, foot control, combination of hand control and transmission function. Yeah, the service brake is your foot brake. The air used in air braking systems is stored in engine, wheel cylinders, reservoir tanks, the master cylinder. Yes, reservoir tanks. Most people who watch these videos like and subscribe. I'd like to say thank you.